Hey YouTube, welcome back to Heiko's Garage. There's something really exciting happening here at Heiko's Garage today. I got a shipment from Amazon. Uh, actually, the vendor that shipped me this, after I paid for it and ordered it, of course, nothing is free in this world, it's from Moto Air Armor. What it is, is a motorcycle airbag vest. And this one here is not one of those cheaper ones made in China off of AliExpress. You can also get those really cheap ones on Amazon and uh, on eBay, I believe. This is a proper manufacturer. It's, uh, it's made by Hit Air, which is actually the Mugen Denko company LTD. Uh, they have been around for a while. They have a whole lineup of different products. They have airbag jackets, they have airbag vests in different shapes and forms. Um, they also have a, a airbag vests for equestrian purposes, so horseback riding. Um, and I think they sell some other motorcycle equipment, but I'm not sure on that. Um, this one here is um, their model MLV RC, MLV slash RC, or hyphen RC. Uh, the R in RC stands for reflective. So this is a black vest that is uh, equipped with Lumidex, which is a reflective material woven into the outer skin here. So during the day looks relatively black with little white dots. And at night, it will look like uh, I'm a walking traffic sign, fully reflective. Uh, they make this thing in two sizes. This one here is the medium size. They also make a large size. The medium covers clothes size S to X large, and then the uh, large will cover 2X to 4X, I believe. So since I am six feet tall, 190 pounds, and I wear X large jackets, I figure I fall right into the X large. Let me show you what it looks like when I put this just over a t-shirt. That's like this. But of course you're supposed to wear it on top of your riding jacket. It has two snaps here on the front, that's it. Here, let's take a, a little bit closer look at this real quick. Ooh, someone help me. So this is a uh, conventional airbag vest that uses a uh, mechanical tether that will m get connected to your motorcycle or if you are horseback riding to your saddle right but this is a motorcycle version um, and uh, what it does is uh, once you get if you get into a crash and you get separated from your bike this tether will pull on a little mechanism and this mechanism will pun puncture a co2 cartridge that's in here and the CO2 cartridge is enough CO2 to inflate this entire airbag vest, uh, which supposedly happens in like 0.3 of a second. Um, you will have inflated sections here in the front, all the way under your arm, over your shoulder, around your neck here. This is all, this is all airbag. And all those little snap buttons, they will pop open and inflate. And then you will also have a section that is like a back protector here. So all this is all airbag that will inflate. Uh, there are a couple zippers where it says do not open. So do not open those. They are for manufacturer only. So you will have um, energy absorbing air chambers all down your back, under your arm, around your rib cage around your neck, over your shoulders, and your chest in the front. So this will give you lots of cushion when you hit the pavement, so to speak. Whereas uh, the little CE protectors that are in a jacket, they are like, you know, half an inch thick, and they are gonna absorb some, of it, some energy, but really not much. This one here is uh, really a step up from that. They have all kinds of uh, crash test videos on their webpage, so if you check out www.hit-air.com You can find all that and read and look at stuff and there's lots of stuff on YouTube where people pull on the uh, actuation mechanism to see what it looks like when it inflates and there are um, some 
manufacture product demonstrations of course other brands uh, that come to my mind would be Helite which also makes a a conventional uh, airbag vest like this one with a tether then there are other brands like Alpine Star, Climb, uh, Dainese, CD and they usually use the electronic version so they have sensors in the vest that measure your acceleration and if suddenly your direction changes which indicates okay this guy just had a crash it will electronically activate the inflation and then um, the only downside of an electronic one that I find personally a little annoying is you first of all have a battery pack in there that you have to keep um, uh, charged then secondly you have a subscription service on some of them so you have to actually pay a s annual subscription to use your vest and give uh, get software updates and all that stuff and if you ever have an accidental deployment of this uh, airbag vest like if I would yank on this right now really hard and I would blow it up I can fold this up again I can legally buy one of those CO2 cartridges and rearm the thing. Um, and it does come with a little package that has a tool in it and a screw that you need for the resetting of this uh, airbag vest. It also has instruction manual, warranty card, and all that stuff. Uh, it has a bunch of little labels hanging on there. Uh, this, this mechanism in here with a CO2 cartridge actually has a safety on it, just like a gun safety that you can slide over here where this little silver ball is to stop it from being accidentally pulled out while you are doing YouTube videos for example so this this red thing uh, secures the ball once I actually write I will make sure I slide it all the way up and then it goes into a detent and stays there so but just for right now I wanted it secured and not inflate on me um, so yeah with those electronic ones you actually have to send it in to get it inspected and then fold up and recharged and the constant battery charging and some models like I said they also have a subscription service on top of that um, I, I was wondering that I think it was an Alpine star it was actually relatively cheap like three hundred ninety nine dollars but then I read about the subscription service and batteries and all that that turned me off I am not a stunt rider, uh, I'm not on a racetrack, I just ride a 1974 BMW motorcycle and I want the added safety so I went with this one here. You can find those on Amazon, eBay and also on Hit Air's own webpage I believe for around 500 bucks. This one here is a little more expensive because it has the Lumidex uh, reflective material. They also have this in uh, just black they also have it in signal yellow this this neon yellow that the construction workers wear um, let me put on a jacket and show you what it looks on my on on the outside of my jacket this here is a summer riding jacket it's very breathable it's it's mostly mesh it does have a CE tested back protector shoulder and elbows in there so this is minimum layer of protection that I have been wearing for the last couple of years when riding but uh, you know I'm getting older I have kids family to take care of I don't want to die just because of a stupid motorcycle accident um, even though I'm very defensively riding and I'm not taking much risk but you never know tire blows up and you have a crash so this is my normal summer jacket and it's really brutally hot right now. I'm sweating already. Sorry for the sweaty look. And then the vest. Like I said, this is the, the medium size which covers small to extra large. And I am an extra large size. Uh, I'm kind of between large and extra large, I guess. All right, school bus driving by. Neighbors kids are on the way home. So this is the vest on top of my jacket fits really well it has velcro adjusters here on the inside in the back to tighten up the bottom so it's a little loose still I can make this a little tighter um, but overall this fits pretty well this is what it looks like on the back you see this little flat back here this is also part of the airbag that will pop open and uh, get you some lower back protection so kind of like your tailbone section will be protected by this piece down here Sorry for the audio. Every time I step outside the house, 
the wind turns on. I don't know why that is. All right, and now we're gonna take a look at uh, how to install this tether, which is really simple. Oh, by the way, I will not show you how to reset this here in this video because we are not gonna inflate this vest. If you guys wanna see me inflate this vest for test purposes, demonstration purposes, I read somewhere it takes about 60 pounds of pulling force on here, so an accidental getting off your bike, forgetting to un untether yourself. It's pretty slim, but it can happen. It could happen. Nice thing is that you can reset it and put a new cartridge in and you're good to go. Um, I would say that is something that you definitely need to do with a manual in your hand, following step by step, because you actually have to insert, insert a little bolt, you have to reinsert this little activation ball and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to show this on video. I rather leave that up to you or the manufacturer to do. And um, I want to ride this thing and I currently don't have an extra cartridge, so we're not going to blow this up today. But like I said, if I get enough views on this video and you want to see it, tell me down in the comments, give me a thumbs up. Uh, we might consider this and make a follow-up video. So let's now take a look, put the vest out of the way, unclick this little tether here. The, so this is the part that gets attached to the motorcycle. Let's do this now. Let me move you around a little bit. All right, so close up to where I have planned. So the, the mechanism is on my right side, so it needs to be installed somewhere on the right side of the motorcycle. Let me take my seat off, my toolbox out of the way, and right here is a nice beefy piece of subframe. This is where we're going to put it. And then we can, when I put my seat back on, slide it under the tank a little bit, let it hang out here at the bottom. Um, let me show you this real quick. The, the tether is really only held together with this one little plastic uh, mechanism here, a little knob to take it loose, comes apart into two pieces. And there's a little label on here that says that once you're done installing it to make a knot at the end, there is already a knot. Uh, we're just gonna leave that there because it works out just fine. So my, my subframe here, we're just gonna feed this around the subframe. Then we're going to take this plastic piece, put that all back together the way it came apart. Put it back together with a knob, like so. The knob back in, it even rides on it open and closed. So everything here on this kit is really well made, nicely labeled, easy to understand. The manual, I might show you the manual too. So now I tighten this up. I already have a knot at the end. And if I let go of it, it's just dangling down here. I can shove this under my tank a little bit. So it's wobbling here in the, in the breeze. Now I can show you what happens when I put my seat back on. Click, there you go. And now if I actually tether it on myself, it's just gonna come out right under my seat here in the corner of the tank. Here's the tether to click in and that's it. Now I'm gonna move you back a little bit And um, so they say that you're supposed to have it l long enough that you can stand, but then it's supposed to be a rather taut, not loose flapping tether. So when you're standing on your foot packs, like on an adventure bike, this is supposed to be rather taut. So let's try this. Move you back a little more. I still have the safety engaged, so we're not accidentally going to blow up this thing. Click and click. I'm not riding in uh, tennis shoes usually. I, I wear boots. There we go. So we're on the bike. 
tether yourself to your your bike and now I would just be riding like this no problem no issues no interference this little tether here it really doesn't do anything doesn't get in the way and then when you stand on your bike like you have an adventure bike this is supposed to be taut and that's exactly what it is so I think we're golden here doesn't yank on it too hard there's still more stretch to come but it's taut it's not flapping in the breeze so that's what it is now we're gonna take this off and we're gonna leave it installed of course now let's just take a quick look at all the information material and let me take off all this gear Whew. already sweating Ooh. so I still have this red guard down so they specifically give you a, a little safety label here um, that specifically tells you before you start riding with this you got to make sure that uh, this safety guard is in the upward position then you get um, here's another little label after resetting the key box the setting bolt must be taken away from the key box so there is a bolt and a allen key in here and this bolt is only used to reset and then afterwards you have to take it out it's in a waterproof little pouch so it probably makes sense to um, take that with you in the bike even if you have a replacement cartridge the instructions in here they are actually pretty easily understood how to clip something together warnings of course what it does co2 cartridge inflates blah 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 the activation cycle what happens and there are also pictures in here what it looks like when it's actually puffed up you know it gives you a like a it, it almost gives, gives you like a neck brace so you're not going to break your neck when you have an accident um, I don't know if it actually tells us how much force needs to be uh, used to actually yank this out of that little valve there that might be in here somewhere I remember that I read somewhere it's about 60 pounds and it takes about 0.3 of a second keep and use at temperature below 40 degrees Celsius so when it goes above 40 degrees Celsius so like a hundred plus degrees Fahrenheit we better stay home then um, yeah the whole installation one touch release and then also here's this explanation on when you stand on your bike that it's supposed to be uh, stretched wire and yeah we accomplished that so that's good how to reassemble if there is no damage blah 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 and how to push all the little buttons together so it's pretty good and then here's a warranty policy um, hit air product will be replaced or repaired for free if it's due to a manufacturing defect so mm -hmm. it doesn't guarantee prevention or reduction of risk of injury there is a claim form here's another wearable airbag it just explains what's going on so it will inflate quick give you protection you land on your back and then eventually it will deflate to not uh, keep the pressure on your chest because if you are injured you might need as much air as you can get there's a protector jacket or vest are included with protector jacket and vest are included with protector okay there's an optional chest padding easily installed with velcro I'll gotta look into that I don't know if this one here has a velcro in the front where I can attach that oh yeah there is here's some velcro and here's some velcro hmm. 
We'll see. So there might be some chest protector that can be added to the vest. And then here's the whole installation for different motorcycle, scooter, and even for passengers. So if you buy your wife or your partner or a friend or your kid one of those and you want to tether them to the bike it shows where the tether wire is supposed to go so that's pretty much all pretty well explained again the model that i have here is the hit air mlv rc with lumidex which is reflector is interwoven with a fab fabric for good nighttime visibility so during the day it's kind of gray blackish looking from afar and at night it's like a reflective road sign. What else? Oh that's it. There's another dangly thing. Oh yeah the adjustment of the belt loop. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so I'm all sweaty now. It's really hot out here, it's unbelievable. Um, hope you uh, find this informative. Maybe you wanna consider buying one of those. I will put a, most likely an affiliate link down in the description, so don't hold it against me. I make a few cents every time you buy something through an affiliate link, uh, you support the channel. And if you give this video enough attention and a thumbs up, I will make a follow-up video and we're gonna yank on this tether and f blow it up right here in the driveway. And then we're maybe even gonna go through the reset, uh, reset procedure, um, put a fresh cartridge in there, okay? All right, uh, you guys hang in there, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.